Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and do another 360 total security test. Um, it's been kind of a slow malware week. Today kind of picked up a little bit um, with some uh, fake Google Drive uh, application emails that got through uh, a few of my spam filters at work. So I thought I'd go ahead and check out one of those links. I've got one right here. This is the latest one that just came through. Um, I also downloaded a few EXEs uh, here and some kind of uh, malicious document apparently there. Uh, so let's go ahead and update 360 Total Security. It says we're on version 8.0.0.1058. Let's go ahead and update that. I just did a second ago, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, let's retry. Checking virus database, update completed. Okay, <clears throat> good deal. So let's start dragging and dropping. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Pull open our little distribution center of malware over here. And we'll drop an EXE. And uh, for some stupid reason, it um, my local machine detected it and removed it. I don't know why. Let me try that again. I have yet to see that before. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Cannot determine local file size. You may not have permission. Okay, for some reason that's getting in the way, so hang on a second. Um. <laughs> Hold on. I'm thinking... All right. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Um, Windows Defender, for some reason, is monitoring, um, copying, and pasting. That's something I just wasn't planning on. Anyway, I dropped this uh, EXE on this desktop, and I was hoping that um, 360 would detect it. Let's see. It does, as soon as I execute it. So that's gone. Um, let's go ahead and try update email settings. This was one that came through to work uh, a few minutes ago. They wanted one of my managers to update their email settings. This did not come from me. Mmm. <laughs> that got right through. I'm not sure what it was, but 360 did not detect a thing. This was only a few minutes old, like maybe 10 minutes. Zoics. Uh, moving on. And we have a zip file called statement. Uh, it appears to be corrupted. I don't know what happened there. Let's put and pull this doc file over. And I should probably install a viewer on this thing. I'm kind of curious what these things are. Uh, let's try to uh, let's try to open with WordPad. Nah, I didn't figure that would work. Let's open with more options. Look for an app in the store. Let's see if that's intelligent enough to handle this. And uh, while that's thinking, let's move on. All right, we got a fax. So a fax was downloaded. It's a zip file. Okay, we'll double click that. We do have an EXE inside. And it is detected. This was a few hours old. We'll go ahead and remove. Thanks, okay. Super annoying. Um, we go get that 
notepad file. And this had this side, uh, like I said, this came in today. I'm not sure about what time. Um, hang on, let me. That's just a stupid thing. Okay. This did get through to one of my managers. He did click on the link. Uh, he said it did nothing after he clicked on the link. I'm going to be able to see him tomorrow, so we'll see what's really doing. We'll see if anything happens here. Uh, so now um, Smart Screen is blocking it. It was not blocking it earlier, so I want to see where he actually went. Ah. This uh, this this happens <laughs> to a lot of the people at work. A lot of these uh, managers at work who get these things. And what this is, this is a fully functional site right now that is going. It looks exactly like a Gmail site. You'd totally fall for it if you weren't looking for that. Uh, you go ahead and type in your email address, your password, sign in to view the attachment. It's some BS attachment, uh, and they have your you know email address and your password. Um, and this is a Gmail account. Or you can sign in with any number of accounts. Fully functional right there. So um, the guy in front of me, actually, he uh, did this. He signed in, used all his credentials, things like that, and he immediately told me, and as soon as he told me, I got into um, Active Directory, our, our user management, um, and I just uh, reset his password so that they couldn't get on our network. But these things are sneaky, dangerous things. So... Um, when he actually said it came up to a blank page, so good. He didn't have a chance to do that. Um. So anyway, I did. Like I said, it's been a really kind of a light malware week. I don't really have much to show you right now. I didn't have anything on Tuesday. I, I need to start coming up with other videos. Um, when I don't have many samples. Uh, let's see. Now one got through. I don't know what it is. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and run a full scan just to see if it picks it up now uh, after the fact. I mean, it's kind of stupid, but I, I know people will want me to do that. So uh, I will do a full scan. And um, let's see. While that's running, I've got two announcements. Thank you to my five Patreon subscribers. If you think my videos are worth a buck, just like a buck a month, you know, please sign up to support me. It does keep me motivated. <laughs> Definitely. It keeps my uh, wife off my ass. Um, see, the other thing, I started my forums back up again. This time they're hosted at vbulletin.net. Uh, I really didn't want to host them on my, uh, v my uh, VPS anymore. Um, so they're hosted somewhere else. They can take care of all the upgrades, all the hacks that I used to get, all that stuff. Not my problem anymore. It's mattsforums.vbulletin.net. I think we have 11 users, and I just started adding forums. I haven't added any forum descriptions yet. Um, if there's something you want to see in the forums, just go ahead and let me know. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'll come back, and we'll see what happened with that full scan. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, it really didn't find anything um, running in the operating system that we didn't already really know about or wasn't really a big deal. Um, you've got this item on the desktop that's a zip file that it found. Uh, we'll go ahead and say resolve. And it still has no idea what this is. And I'm kind of curious. So let's do a little something. This will be another little lesson uh, for you guys out there. Most of you guys already know this. Let's go to virus total. I think, I think it's .com. And I'm sorry if I'm breathing into the mic too much. I'm kind of getting sick. Cold, I think. That's what happens when you have kids. Nonstop sickness. All right. Let's go ahead and so what you're going to do is say choose a file. I'm choosing that guy. Uh, scan it. It's going to scan it with like 50 plus different antivirus engines. File's already been analyzed. Somebody already uploaded this. Let's look, view the uh, last analysis. Shocking. It's completely clear. Uh, wow. 
This is some fresh stuff. I have no idea what it does. I guess we'll find out in the next few days. Uh, anyway, so we're wrapping that whole thing up. We'll go ahead and test this uh, in a few days again. Um, I never know what to do, like uh, video-wise. I, I never know what to make. So on the forums under you know that URL up there, you can go ahead and go in the general discussion forum and under video request, you can request a video, something you want me to do. And uh, Mr. B R Shaw has already. Thank you. That's a huge bunch of text that I would have to reply to soon. Um, I, I don't really want to do like combos, like test out this and this and this and this and see how it does. Now, if it, I just want you to like list like a single utility or application, or if you want a tutorial on, on something, something like that. So that would help me crank out these videos a little bit easier. Anyway, uh, it's time for me to play some uh, Fallout 4, so I gotta go.